Rebuilding can be looked at in various sense, whether the physical sense or the, the spiritual sense. And as we are on this journey of being taught by the Lord about rebuilding our spiritual lives, indeed it is also very important that we look at the aspect of building our physical lives. Now we are in a time where many people are in need, in dire need. And as we take this journey of rebuilding our physical lives, we must be cognizant of the fact that there are other people that we can help to help them build their physical lives. Amen? We are in a time where a lot of focus is too much on ourselves, even as the church, as believers. Too much inward looking, too much self-focus, too much about me, about myself, about I. And I always like saying that we are in, the, in a generation of the I, I's, the me, me's, the I generation, the me generation, where it's all about me, looking at me, myself. What can I get from the Lord? Lord, help me. My best life now. My biggest house now. My Mercedes-Benz now. Me, 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 me. I, I, I. But when we look at the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ, we see his ministry was about other people. In fact, the biggest gift that we received from God was God giving of himself, his only begotten son, for others, for you and for me. Others. This morning, my dear brothers and sisters, when we look around us in society and what is happening and going on around us, indeed we can see the outcry of society. People are losing their jobs. Some have lost their jobs. People have been retrenched. Companies have closed down. People have received salary cuts. Even the impact of COVID-19, where we are hearing about the deaths even in our immediate families. There is a need that you and I, as believers, as children of God, rise up to be a vessel of honor in the hands of God, to help and to care for the people of God. Jesus Christ told us that we will go through these times. Times of difficulty, trials and tribulations and challenges. But the good news is that he gave us a promise. In John 16 verse 33 where he said that when you go through these things, you be of cheer. Be of good cheer. Because... I have overcome the world. I have done it all for you already. My peace, your peace is in me. My peace abounds over you. My victory abounds over you. I have overcome the world. And even in our overcoming, in our walk of victory, we need to be able to look at your brother and your sister on the side who is suffering and burdened under the circumstances of society that we see today.